to the yearly rate of depreciation of the price of the car is given by this one where okay this one so we know that when it mentioned rate it means that it's d this one is s right so ds over dt is equal to this one so ds over dt is equal to this one okay uh, a is the original price okay this is the original price uh, after being bought given that the original price is this one find the price after seven years so this one is the rate so we wanted to find the price so we have to minus the depreciation so the depreciation so we see here so this one so s after we do uh, ds over dt after we do the differentiation we get this one so to get the value of uh, to get the value of the depreciation, we have to integrate back this one. So you see how it works? So we have to integrate this one. So S is equal to, so we integrate and we know it's 7 years. So from 0 to 7 years, so we have A over 1020 minus T dt and it's given that A is the original price. So this one is supposed to, okay, I forgot to replace, but never mind, just, so it's 40. 8,000 divided by 1,020 minus T dt. So this one you get 48. So when you have a constant, multiply because we want to integrate the one with T, right? So this one multiply with this one. So this one won't be affected. You can just take out the constant like that. So 0, 7, 20 minus T. But then you cannot take out 20. Why? Because this one and this one is connected. Okay, so dt. Now you can integrate. So, 48. So, 20, when you integrate, you get 20 T. Constant, you add T. T is actually T1. So, you add the power with 1. You get T2 divided by 2. And this one from 0 to 7. So, 48. Now, you substitute T with 7 first. So, 20 times 7 minus 7 square over 2. Okay, the first one is done. Minus... Now you substitute with 0, but when you substitute with 0, you get 0. We see here 20 times 0 is 0, and 0 squared is obviously 0. So here you get 48, 20 times 7 is 140, 7 squared is 49, minus 49 over 2. So you will get, just to see your calculator, 5544. So we know that the difference, the depreciation is 5544 after 7 years. So this one is, okay, S, okay, just write it. So here on the left, down here, so S is equal to 5544. The price is going down by 5544 after 7 years. Now, you see here the price after 7 years. So price is equal to original price, which is 48,000 minus 5544. So here you will get 42456. Okay, this one 42456. So this one is RM. Okay, so B, if the original price is this one find the percentage of depreciation of the car after five years so same with this one but then the original price is 88500 so we to find the depreciation value so after five years zero to five so the original price is 88500 divided by 1000 this one is 20 minus t dt so again like before this done okay just write it. So divided by 1000, you get 88.5. 20 minus T dt, right? You can take a constant. So 0 to 5, 20 minus T dt. This one, you can just copy from the previous one because it's the same. But I deleted it. <laughs> I just to write it. But, so this one is 20, become 20T. 20 minus T become T square over 2. And this one from 0 to 5. Now you can just substitute. So 88.5. First you substitute T with 5. You get 25 minus 5 square divided by 2. 
Okay, this one, the first one. And then minus, you substitute with 0. So you get 20, 0, minus 0 squared over 2, which is obviously 0. So here, 88.5. 20 times 5 is 100 minus 25 over 2. So just use calculator and you are supposed to get 7743.75. So S, our depreciation after 5 years is RM7743.75. So percentage depreciation percentage is equal to the, the depreciation divided the original price 88500 times 100% so you're supposed to get 8.75%